Next question. Next question from um, I don't know how to pronounce Yannick. that. Yannick. He's from Germany. Okay. How do you know? Well, well uh, I'm chatting with him on Facebook, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he asks, what would you like more, to compose for film or for trailer? Ha. Huh. That's actually a good question. That's, <laughs> That's actually a tricky you. one. Well, one could say I'm actually a bit stuck in the trailer music department for now, but I think I'm stuck in a good way because it's, you know, the the whole concept of trailer music is that you, you're able to, you know, write these, you know, really epic tracks can, you know, go as big as you can imagine, whereas film music, it's much more subtle, it's more underscore and, um, but also something I totally like. It's more like a social interaction with a filmmaker and a crew and producers and and trailers is different. I mean, you know, there is Emily and she, whatever, she fills me in on whatever requirements there are for uh, trailer demand. music. And I'm demanding, aren't I? You're very demanding, <laughs> yeah. But still, you know, that the creative freedom is there and that's, that's, I think, something I really embrace, at, you know, when it comes to trailer music. But I'm, I'm open to every, the question is, what would you like more? So I guess uh, anything's fine. Okay, um, Dennis asks, about your creative process. Do you think of anything special when you imagine musical themes or when you improvise new melodies on your piano? What do you have in mind in that moment? Oh, that's totally visceral. That's... Uh, I'm, I'm not thinking of anything. That's the whole beauty of it. I just sit on the piano, I play, I have maybe... I'm, I'm in a certain mood, whatever, and or I have an idea and just go about improvising on the piano and, and just capture whatever I like, you know, whatever resonates with me, whatever I get emotional about, and but it's certainly nothing I have in my mind or I'm, I'm thinking of consciously. Alex? Alex, he says, how do you how do you add the choir to your tracks? Can you detail the process? Have the lyrics any literal meaning? Uh, languages like Latin, mm -hmm. or are they just syllables that felt musical? If the lyrics have meaning, how do you search yourself the perfect phrase that fits into the song and also means something? The process is that with with choir lyrics, I you know there's there's the melody you determine for the choir and you you determine which parts you know the choir has to sing. But in terms of lyrics, but that's just my personal opinion. Now I I don't go after certain meanings of lyrics. I just I'm after the you know phonetic uh, thing in, in in a melody. So I, I try to find syllables in this case for Elysium, um, Latin and Sanskrit that you know have phonetic quality. So I just try to throw throw around syllables of um, you know I would do research on the internet and just gather you know all these kinds of syllables from these languages and and sort of make a make a book or like a toolbox and then have the the melody and you know like put everything together and just, well I'm just. That's just going to so, be brutally um, honest. I just sing by myself in front of my computer or whatever. I sit there on the piano and I just sing well, the think, melody. Also, I'm a very bad singer, but it, it sort of makes sense and I can sort of, you know, construct the whole... Well, if you think about it, um, music itself is a language that everybody can understand, you know, but even musicians can speak music to each other in, in theoretical terms. And right. so um, that's what's so great about it is that it's, it's like having a paintbrush and all your colors. So, you know, the syllables, the the sounds, the different instruments, the vocals, etc. All of that can be exactly. used in any way, shape, or form. You know, you can mix colors, you can, you know, you're literally an artist at that point. So. Oh, by the way, Emily's a composer, so that's why she... Um... I understand all this crap. <laughs> 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 but um, I was going to make note that um, Alex asked how you add oh. the choir to your tracks. So uh, you could probably... Um, how do I add the choir? Well, it's a simple answer. We hired a choir. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I thought something much more complex. And they sang. Than I, I don't know. They sang into a microphone, and no, I'm just kidding. No. Um, how do you add the choir? Yeah. Can you detail the process? How big was the choir again for this? It was sixty, 60? piece. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, sixty. Thirty um, men, thirty women. Huge difference when you have a live choir. Obviously, there's some great choir samples out there as well. But I mean, just having the real, you know, because everybody feeds off of each other, the energy, musicians, and so. Uh, it's, sure. It's, um, you can't. You can't um, beat a live choir or a live orchestra. No. You just can't you emulate just can't. it. Yeah.